Ons gooi vandag sommer 3000 jaar terug na die oorsprong van poppenspel of puppetry. Poppe is seder die vroegste tye gebruik om die idees en behoeftes van die menselike samenleving uit te druk en leven te gee. Sommige historie sê glo dat die gebruik van poppe die rol van acteurs in die theater vooraf gaan. En daar is bewijse dat marionette reeds so vroeg soos 2000 jaar voor Christus in antieke Egypte in gebruik was. So, dier die loop van die millennia het die kindsvorm geweldig gesofistikeerd geraak en word vandag dier groot kindsenaars beoefen. Zuid-Afrika se Handspring Puppet Company word as 'n wêreldleier in poppekuns beskou. Jenny Yange was voorheen een van die direkteure van Handspring Puppet Company en haar eie produksiemaatskappy se produksie van The Firebird skop more 'n speelvak in Kaapstad af. Na die konserte in Kaapstad reis die produksie na die National Arts Festival in Graamstad en dan op 'n uitgebreide Amerikaanse toer. Kom ons kyk. Because I'm a South African artist, I base my creativity inside of my own experience, and obviously that is based inside of the South African context. The journey of the central figure, rather than being based in a sort of mythological um, forest space, is based inside of the experience of this individual's mind, inside of her experience of society. The firebird, as we're presenting it is really a mixture of languages, but all centering on a journey of an individual. And the journey is uh, within herself as she encounters the forces of inspiration, which are represented by birds and wings, and then the darker forces of doubt and anxiety. She encounters her own ideas, which are represented by children. Those ideas then get carried away and become dominant and she calls the destructive forces to bring down the system that she has set into place and then find her own new balance which brings together both the forces of creativity and the forces of destruction and that is manifest as the figure of the dragon at the end. We have contemporary African dance, we have African dance in the form of Tswana dance, Kosa dance, Zulu dance, there's Bharatanatyam, which is an Indian style dance form. There's ballet. And of course, with the usage of puppetry, we find movement language to further tell the story. So a lot of what we've drawn on the building of the puppets is technology that was developed during the production of War Horse. We're enormously grateful for all of the development and skill and you know how to build minutely moving joints in specific ways. With the puppets in the Firebird, there's a kind of evolution of materials. And as the piece moves on, it's almost as though the puppets become more and more present and more physically and solid on stage. And we have a number of different puppets. Some of them are kind of half-formed ideas which take the form of children. And then they are literally what just look like bits of pieces of paper that are manipulated as objects through space. And all of these materials start to coalesce and come together to form snakes and the actual firebird, the big firebird puppet and then the beast, which is probably the second last puppet, which is also quite a large creature. And then we have the final figure, which is the huge dragon, which is uh, immense. I mean, none of us have ever worked with anything of that scale before. So if you're really interested in coming to see the show, which you should be, it's on at the Artscape from the 24th till the 26th of June. And how you can get your tickets, you can call the box office at Artscape or contact CompuTicket.